Welcome back, everyone. Toys just here, and I'm back yet again with yet another cartoon TMNT video. And today, well, I I'm just super excited. Finally, after all this time, they made my very favorite characters from the cartoon TMNT line, right? Said absolutely no one. This is Bugman and Electro Zapper. Yeah, that you kind of had the same sort of epiphany as I did, right? Like, who? Right? But there's really nice artwork all over the box of Bugman and his arch rival, Electro Zapper, on the back side of the box. You get the usual cartoon TMNT write up. You get photos of the figures. You get all the figures that have come out before, right? Very nice. And. Yeah, like I said, these are just two really interesting characters that have become action figures in 2023. On the bottom of the box, here is everyone involved with the creation of these figures. So thank you very much for that. And likewise, for those of you interested, here's the barcode. You can find these exclusively at Target stores now. Now, like I said, this is not going to be my favorite characters ever. However, I did watch the two episodes, kind of refresh. I did know Bugman, but I couldn't tell you much about him. That's kind of where my TMNT lore kind of screeches to a halt. The basic story is this. Michelangelo is very, very into the whole Bugman comics, right? Of course, Bugman being a fictional character, or so he thought, and he's sitting in the sewer one day, and lo and behold, Brick Bradley, who is Bugman, this is flowing through the sewers, and Michelangelo saves him, and they end up going up against Electro Zapper, right? Which is basically Spider-Man and Electro, if you really think about it. But of course, like any good arch rival, Electro Zapper has nefarious plans for the city, and Michelangelo has to help Bugman regain his bug-like powers. And together, along with April O'Neil, kind of, sort of, she kind of twisted her ankle and kind of pieced out, basically. But the other turtles showed up, and they saved a day. You get the idea. Now, this was an episode featured on the old VHS, Michelangelo Meets Bugman, and I just do not remember this. Until I watched the episode, I was like, I guess, maybe, sure, kind of remember. Now, Bugman does come back when Michelangelo meets Bugman again, right? But because it has nothing to do with this two-pack, we'll just kind of forego it, but this guy shows up to wreak havoc. And then also kind of fix the weird storyline that the first one implemented about all of a sudden a superhero being real, right? It's a little confusing, but you know, it's not confusing. Well, uh, we got two new awesome figures to check out from NECA Toys. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the Target exclusive two-pack featuring Bugman and Electro Zapper from the 80s cartoon TMNT line. And of course, in true NECA fashion, here's everything taken out of the packaging. And there's quite a few accessories in there, along with two brand new, newly sculpted action figures. And that's what I love most about this line, is that yes, they are getting a tad expensive, but you do get a lot in the box and it's very cool. Now you get a ton of extra hands for Electro Zapper. And if you notice, on certain hands of his little Electro Brass Knuckles, whatever you want to call them, there are minute little holes in some of the fingers, and that's where all the included accessories and powers are going to fit in. It's awesome, let me just tell you. Now, you get this single bolt of electricity right here, right? And that fits onto any pointed finger, so you can properly zap Bugman. This is awesome. I wish... Marvel did this with X-Men and other superhero powers, right? Now, just be careful. You don't want to break it. It's kind of brittle-ish. They're all kind of brittle-ish. This one will fit onto his punching hand, which is very cool. It's a larger electrical effect. But again, just go easy on them. You don't want to snap anything. Treat it nicely. You got these two electrical orbs, which again are fantastic. And they fit onto the fingertips of both hands. So you could be zapping Bugman and Michelangelo at the same time. And then finally you get this one little burst of electricity. And if you have his open hand, you can totally fit it onto that. While he's also blasting the Bugman off of the side, you get the idea. The powers are fantastic. It didn't need to be this fantastic for a totally random character, but NECA totally delivered. Now you do get an extra head portrait. Mine has little nicks and paint mishaps every which way, which is unfortunate. And I'll tell you, go really easy with the two lightning bolts that are on top of his mask. You don't want to snap those off. They seem very brittle. Just go 
Easy, easy. Just going to say that over and over. But yeah, mine's got little defects and whatnot. It's kind of a bummer, but it's my least desirable head. We'll just say. Because this one right here, where he's all mad and he's got the sharp teeth. He just looks angry, and that really fits the character that I watched in that bat poop crazy episode. Again, like the previous head portrait, go really easy with the electrical volts on top of his head, and you can clearly see the difference between the two head portraits. So one's going to be more solemn, it's just kind of chilling in his electrical plant lair, and the other one, well, he's doing battle with Bugman and April O'Neil and Michelangelo. You get the idea. Now, like I said, the sculpt on this did not need to go this way, but they delivered it's insane, the amount of details, the dual shaded paints, the little attention to detail. They know their stuff. This is what I love most about the cartoon TMNT line, right down to the batteries on his arms, the battery on his belt, the little electrical bolt, the battery on his chest. And I love that he's kind of like a misshapen, pudgy guy, like his body makes no sense. That's awesome, I love that. They didn't need to do that, but they did it. That's why it's so dang good, right? Down to his boots, his thigh-high boots, his big old clawed hopper feet, which keeps him very steady, so I appreciate that. The backside, his little butt. He's got a really nice heavy cape. This is nice to see, right? I'll tell you right now, it's not some chintzy taffeta cape, right, by any means, and it completes the look of the character. Fantastic. Overjoyed, and again, I've never asked for, never thought to ask for, the Electro Zapper, right? Go really easy on the joints, especially in the double jointed elbows. I'm just going to tell you, I had to heat mine up. Go very easy. You don't want to force anything. And also go very easy. Kind of makes me nervous over time. The whole rubber part of his torso, you know what I'm saying? Just go easy on that. No problems, but in the future, we'll just say. He's got waist, his legs, he's got double jointed knees, which look great. And like I said, his clawed upper feet's got rocker, they'll go up and down, and it keeps him very sturdy. So if you want to pose him out with all the really cool electrical effects, I mean, you could really go to town. It's also a very cool bad guy for the Ninja Turtles to battle. If you wanted to just unhead cannon everything, right? It can totally go that route. But he is Bugman's arch nemesis. Let's just be clear. Now, in juxtaposition, old Electro Zapper, you got Bugman, and he's got a bunch of bug hands, right? One of them being a weapon holding hand, like a gun trigger kind of hand, but no weapons to behold. But you could probably fit some in there if you'd like. He also comes with his blue Leastonite rock, which Electro Zapper just happens to have lying around in a field when they're all fighting. You could give this to Michelangelo so he can kind of help Bugman, right? He also has the least tonight chains when Michelangelo finds him in the sewer and he untangles him and he's kind of sucking Bugman's powers, you know what I mean, for a little bit for most of the episodes. Kind of weird, right? We don't need to get into it. Just go watch the episode. That's part of the fun of collecting these figures. But one other thing I got to point out, I really like the plastic chain. I think it fits the whole cartoon TMNT better than a real chain. I'm going to let this go. You know who you are. You did a great job. Now, with Bugman himself. That's an awesome sculpt. It behooves me to think why this was never a Playmates character, right? That would have been awesome. He's got all these wings. He's got this thorax slash scorpion tail thing coming out the back of him. It's disgusting when he mutates on the show. He's got his Batman gauntlets, Shredder gauntlets, whatever you want to call him. He's got his purple boots with his feet. It's awesome. It's a great looking head portrait. Again, they nailed the cartoon show it's fantastic and it didn't need to go this way it's two characters uh, huh who are you talking about but i love his spider legs those have a little bit of articulation those shoot webs in the show perhaps they could have done something with that right to kind of add to the whole electro zapper accessories but his wings i would say if anything on him go very easy on the wings just know what you're doing before you just start going whoosh, whoosh, right back and forth but they go up and down they're articulated so it definitely looks nice they got paint on them they don't want to come out i wouldn't force it it's not something that just kind of popped out so if you want to take them out go very easy but i would not recommend it you got the big old scorpion tail thorax whatever you want to call it i wish that this one had a little bit more articulation to it it kind of just goes and flips up and down, right? Instead of having any type of more movement to it. It's kind of like a weight too to him. Now, his head portrait is spot friggin' on. He's gross looking. He's got these antennas. They're not brittle, but I would say don't stress them out too much, right? You got the eyes, the bug eyes. You've got head articulation and you've got neck. So you got a dual system working with you. So if you want to get him into a flying pose, 
get him into a flight stand, get him brooding. You can do whatever you want. It totally works. One other position where I would say go really easy are in the double jointed arms. And be careful when you're moving the arms not to knock the spider legs into the wings. You'll figure it out. He's got the wrist articulation. He's got quite a bit of ab articulation as well, which is nice to see. So you can get him into those battle-ready bug man positions. He's got waist. He's also got some legs that kick out. You can do all that great stuff. He's got double jointed knees. No problems there. And the boots are great. Now, I did at first think that he spun at the boots. Perhaps yours does. I tried heating it up, tried moving it. They don't budge. So it kind of seems like it's there, but it was not moving, and I'm not going to force it. But again, if it is there, totally cool. You got the feet. They go up and down. They rock to and fro. And for the most part, he's pretty sturdy, but you kind of have to finagle it so that you get him in the right position because he could be kind of back heavy with the scorpion tail, with the wings, kind of positioning them to where you help him out in standing. So just be careful with that. Also, perhaps a Brick Bradley alternate head would have been cool for this guy, but you'd have to pull off all the bug parts. And also, if you watch the episode, no matter what he's wearing, when he turns into Bugman, the Bugman costume comes with him. So again, cartoon TMNT. It, it making no sense. But What's really cool is Bugman and Michelangelo, they scale well, they totally pay attention to that, they always pay attention to that, and it's just fun. It's fun to watch this cartoon and go, yeah, I totally have figures for this in 2023, right? Then you have April O'Neil, who kind of has the thing for Brick Bradley until he turns into Bugman, which is hilarious. I don't have the new April just yet. She's a coming. Hopefully Target delivers her very, very soon, we'll just say. And just to kind of show you some of the new figures that have come out, like the giant colossal Napoleon Bonafrog, right? Next to the Shredder with his new Muta Shooter. You get the idea. It could integrate well into your cartoon TMNT collection. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA toys straight from the Target exclusive cartoon TMNT line, Bugman and his evil villain nemesis, Electro Zapper. Two figures that just are awesome. They did a fantastic job. Like I always say, you might want to heat them up in some instances, but the powers and effects for Electro Zapper. I mean, if that's on a blueprint for anyone at Marvel or DC to follow and make it toys, my God, come on. Also, if you have some of the older sets for the cartoon TMNT, they came with Bugman Comics, which is awesome. So it really does complete the entire collection. And that's where the cartoon TMNT line really shines but you've heard my thoughts now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything cartoon tmnt and i'll leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember keep on bringing these figures i love them and i can't wait to see what they got in store for sdcc 2023 that all rhymes and when they do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios